die, you know, came to the mother's funeral. I never forgot that to him. He was always fond of you. Fond of him? Fond of that one? Jesus, will you give over my grave's too narrow to turn in? In his way. In the end, was it? If you don't mind me asking. No, it wasn't so. Da is a very rich play. It gives an actor, myself, an opportunity to confront his father after he's put him into the ground. The play opens on the day of his funeral. And he finds himself in this little corporation, corporation cottage where he grew up, which is like the equivalent, Irish equivalent of subsidized housing or city housing in New York. And he is, he is invaded by ghosts. He, all the ghosts of all the people, his younger self, his father, his mother, his old friends, he, all of it comes to him. Scat out! That wasn't too bad a day. Piss off. Sit there, no one's minding you. I knew it'd hold up for you. You were lucky with the weather when you came over at Christmas, too. Mind, I wouldn't give much for tomorrow. When you can see the mountains of morn, that's a sure sign it'll rain. Ah, yes. What I love about it is it's so specifically Irish, but it makes it so universal, and every da and every son is in it. Who amongst us has not been annoyed by their parents? Let them throw the first stone. That to me is what the play is about. It's about that coming to understanding your, your past. Your own tea will be left here ready for It you. needn't be because you're not born. Why, Alan's I? You're not setting foot out of here. You won't stop me. Will I not? You are always the same, and you always will be the same. The one time I'm invited to a person who tells you to be grudge to me, well, I'll go wherever I like, and I'll see whoever I like. Do, and you'll go over here. I'm the boss in this place, and I'll stay the boss. She's only going for a cup of tea. Aye, aye, that's what she'd have a stick. The relationship between the father and the son is just so uh, intense and so interwoven in each other's minds and hearts, and there's so much heart to the play. There is a scene where um, Mr. Drum, a rather res very respectable, very high up civil servant, is coming to the house to meet young Charlie to take, to take the measure of him and decide whether or not he'll give him a reference for a job. And this is enormously important to mother and dad. To them in their hearts, what they're worried about is keeping him home and keeping him safe. But what you hear is Take that shirt off you, get cleaned up, um, you know, do as you're told. You, you don't get any overt expression of what is really love. Is this the young man? How do you do? Shake hands on. Oh, a bookworm like myself, I see. Move out of the way with the man's tea. Oh, here you are, sir. Don't call him sir. Now, you'll sit there and have a cup of tea in your hands. No, I will not. Don't oh, mind him. Yes, you will. You will. You're a foolish woman. and these times, we may take hospitality for granted. It's wonderful to, to work on a play about uh, uh, something we love, written by someone we love. And Hugh Leonard has been a part of our organization around here uh, since it began. The one thing about Da, though, is, is that it's funny. It's as funny and as hilarious and crazy as life really is. Like all great writing, it's truthful and hits you to the core. Anybody should see Da. Anybody who's ever had a father should see Da. Were you any good? Who once bought him six razor blades for Christmas? I was broke. And why? Because you bought a pair of nylons for that typist from Kappa Quinn who let you grope her up against the railings of the customs house. Six Gillette blades. Oh, there was great shame in them blades. You weren't even here when he died. It was sudden. I think I have one of them still. Hold on, sit, sit down. down. It was sudden. You should come and see this play because it's a great play. It's a classic. It's one of those, every, everybody's father and everybody's son, everybody's family is in this play. And you see it, and it's hilarious, and it's delightful, and it's heartfelt, and it'll make you laugh, and it'll make you cry, and that's the uh, best you can do. I think it's a, it's a good laugh. It's also, it's warm. It's truthful. And I think it will, 
remind, it certainly reminds me, and I think it will remind anyone who, who comes to see it, what it is to, about their own childhood, their own parents, and if they have kids, <laughs> warn them of the future, <laughs> maybe.